Hello students, hi. Today we are going to discuss the empirical and molecular formula. Empirical formula tells us the simplest whole number ratio. Simplest whole number ratio. Whereas molecular formula tell us the actual number of atoms actual number of atoms that is molecular formula tell us whereas the molecular formula is equal to n into empirical formula and molecular formula mass is equal to n into empirical formula mass and molecular mass equal to also 2 into vapor density now we have to solve a numerical to find out how we can find out the empirical and molecular formula. Suppose that we will take a problem in which a compound contains carbon is equal to 4.07% and hydrogen is equal to 24.27% and Chlorine it contains 71.65% and molecular mass is given here that is the 98.96. How to find out molecular formula? We are just going to discuss this one. For this, we first have to write down the serial number then symbol of the element and then their percentage composition suppose carbon is given here 4.07 percent hydrogen is given 4.07 percent carbon is given 24.27 percent and chlorine is given 71.65% then we have to write down in the next column atomic mass of these element carbon atomic mass you know very well that is 12 hydrogen atomic mass is 1 and chlorine atomic mass is 35.5 in the next step, you have to divide this percentage composition by its mass to get the simplest whole number ratio 24.27 divided by 12, 4.07% divided by 1 and 71.65. 71.65% divided by 35.5 what we will get that is the approx dividation is required here we are getting 2 here we are getting 4 and here we are getting 2 in the next step you have to make them simplify simplest ratio in simplest ratio we have to again divide smaller by each and every one 2 by 2 we will get 1 and again now 4 by 2 then we will get 2 and then chlorine we are when dividing we will get 2 by 2 divided it comes again 1 so in the last column what we are getting this is the empirical formula 
means that empirical formula will come carbon goes one atom hydrogen goes two atom and choline goes two atom choline's atom are coming two now the empirical formula comes in front of you that is the c1 h2 and choline is also one sorry it's wrong here choline is coming one hydrogen is coming two and choline is one now in this problem molecular mass 98.96 has been given so what is our main task our main task is that to find out the molecular formula molecular formula stand for n into empirical formula so molecular and another next formula is that molecular formula mass is equal to n into empirical formula mass we have the empirical formula c h2 cl so what is the mass of empirical formula mass it goes 12 plus 2 plus 35.5 it comes to you 49.5 so we place this 49.5 in place of empirical formula mass it comes to you 49.5 and we have to find it out and molecular formula mass given in the question that is 98.96 when you divide this and find the value of n it comes to you 2 now put this value of n in formula or equation number 1 then we can find out the molecular formula n stand for 2 now and empirical formula is C H2 Cl which we have find out earlier so our molecular formula will come that is the C2 H4 Cl2 if we will open this we will find that it is the carbon and carbon one cooling here one here that and two hydrogen we can go with this formula one one 1 2 dichloroethane it is the one of the simplest way to find out the empirical and molecular formula sometimes in so many questions and so many queries up to any examination to find out the molecular mass they can give you the vapor density so be careful whenever vapor density is given in case of vapor density to find out the molecular mass molecular mass is equal to 2 multiply with vapor density thank you guys and this is what for the empirical and molecular formula in next class we will discuss its laws and its more uses thank you